Hello my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another wrenching packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. Do you know what? This is kind of a review, a review. <laughs> this is kind of a review, uh, because I've been in Heron Foods and I've picked up the XL range. Somebody, tell me in the comments, comment please. Who kept my room? I keep waiting if you do XL stuff. So I was in Oldham Town Centre today. Oh, incidentally, I bumped into uh, I bumped into this lady and she took a selfie with me for her husband. I uh, didn't get any names, but oh yeah, you're all right. You caught me by surprise. I'm sorry about that. I was like, I didn't expect someone to stop me in Oldham Precinct and ask for a selfie. It doesn't happen very often, so I'm very very privileged. So yes, hello to you. Hello to husband. Uh, put in the comments, please. If, if you know who that is, please. You, you, that's, that's my mistress, that. Get it in comments. Uh, yeah, we've got a white breaded fish fingers. There's a big tray of them. There's 600 grams, and they were £1.50. £1.50? There's about, about 20 fish fingers here. Uh, I've also I've picked up, hey, guess what the allergen in this is, which I'm really relieved about. It's fish! <laughs> Wait! So yeah, that's about as much, uh, oh and it's 46.4% it's fish as well. So uh, that's all about the, the, the review on that. Uh, I picked up these as well from, and they said on bargains days, not said, uh, Hen and Foods, uh, Curly Fries, then, which were out, I think they were £1.59 I think. Uh, curly Fries, £1.29, big bag bargain. And I picked up, I've already put them in the uh, in the pan. One of them's in already recycled bin. Sorry, I went very too out for process at video. But I got two tins of them. Bachelor's spaghetti hoops. 25 pence a tin. So basically, I'm doing fish fingers, curly fries, and spaghetti hoops. The ultimate, ultimate stonity. Now, I said that, I'm not advocating taking drugs. But at the end of the day, if it helps, fuck it. Oh, we can move that anyway, can't we, for the start? You've seen it now. 25 pence for a tin of spaghetti hoops. Uh, we've got the curly fries and we've got the uh, fish fingers. They both take roughly on 200 degrees in the oven 15 to 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of these in the, uh, fill, oh, bollocks, in the fill fryer. That's the problem with something like that. They're, they're broken up, but end of the day, you want to go smash them up in your teeth and shit them out, aren't you? So what does it matter? Let's see if we can keep it to uh, some full ones, though, just for the process of, you know, beautifulness. As I said, after I mentioned shitting it out, we'll leave that on there. It's like a, the start of building blocks, isn't it? Stickle bricks. I used to love stickle bricks as a kid. I really did. Stickle bricks and Lego. When I was a kid, Lego was cheap as dirt. Now, I was looking in a, a toy shop tonight, uh, this afternoon, and looking at you know, pricing up for Christmas with Connor and that. Especially Connor, because he loves his Lego. It's so freaking expensive. Right, there's, there's me, Lou, and Josh having this. So, how many fish fingers I got there? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I cut twelve, that's all. That's, that's uh, four each. Five for me and Josh. And I've got bits left there. I don't even know what to do with them. Should I just cook them all? Fuck it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to see if I can get as much on as I can. And what I can't cook, I'm just going to bin. Because at the end of the day, it's only £1.50, isn't it? Do you know, what, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And uh, at least then we all know we're going to have a good tea, aren't we? Right, the scraps there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with them. I'm, going to, I'm actually going to cook them after. I'm going to put them in the fridge. I'm going to see if the cat will eat them. 
uh, links. He doesn't like fish, but you never know, he might like Excel fish fingers. Right, so them are going to go in the, uh, the old fill fry for. See if I can put you up here in a second. There we go. Uh, there you go. Then we're going to go with fill fryer for 20 minutes on 200 degrees. So we'll sort that out. 200 degrees, 20 minutes, bang, and we've got our, let's come back down here again, move them out of work, we've got our curler fries, which were £1.29, I probably, I probably don't need all this bag, but, do you know what's going to happen? Oops! I accidentally dropped some all in, so that means now I've got to cook them all. So obviously I get a shake. Uh, I got a shake thing on the uh, kasori. So after halfway through, I do the shake and back, put the freshness back. Do the curly fries and put the freshness back. <clears throat> right, I'll see you shortly. Short. Right, brothers and sisters, uh, the spaghetti hoops are done. There is the curly fries. Look at them. They're crispy to perfection. Uh, where's my blobby? I need my blobby for the fish fingers. <laughs> I need the blobby to get my fish fingers in it. Uh, and there are the fish fingers, properly cooked, well done. So there we have it. Curly fries, fish fingers, and spaghetti hoops, all from Heron Foods, but we're using the XL fish fingers. So yeah. I'll plate this up and uh, we'll get it down, my gizzard. Who says, I don't know how to feed my family well? <laughs> it don't matter. Each one of them plates was one pound ten p each in this day and age you can't knock that like i say it's proper stoner food or big massive kid food and you know what there's three plates there and you could very 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 easily probably make another fourth plate out of that very easily it's just i'm a fat bastard josh is a fat bastard and lou's hungry <laughs> right let's get up here and slide it down my gizzard right i'm not going to do much of a taste test because it is my tea but we've got to try some in curly fries. Who doesn't love curly fries? That was a uh, big massive, I think it was 600 gram, was it? Or was that the fish fingers? I can't remember. It was a big bag anyway for £1.29. Right, let's mm. One thing missing on that. Forgot. A bit of salt. A bit of salt on your curly fries. Gotta be. And it's these though, it's these what I'm really interested in, these XL fish fingers. Eh? Not much of a crisp to them, but they feel crispy, but you can't hear it, you're not picking up. Anyway, let's get the images. Not wrong with them. There's no wrong with them at all. It just tastes like any fish finger that you buy, even bird's eye, which are about, only about two and a half quid for, for about ten. You know what? They'd be perfect for fish finger butties, though. Mm. Even if you just buy them, fish fingers, I would just primarily have them. For fish finger butties with, with good old red sauce on them. Absolutely out of this world. But like I said, that was only one. The entire plate was only £1.10. So uh, this wasn't intended to be a budget cooking video. But really, I've, I've not really cooked anything, have I? <laughs> Let's be honest. Brothers and sisters, I don't even know what even playlist that's going in. You'll have to definitely go in the budget cooking and budget reviews playlist because at the end of the day it did start off to be a review of the uh, the XL from Heron Foods, what they call it, uh, fish fingers, and and all them for one pound fifty, 
Do you know what I mean? It's a bargain. I know I think you want, but let's go at one, two, three, four, five, six. Six and a half fish fingers. So I had seven and a half fish fingers. I've got a big mound of spaghetti hoops and I've got a big pile of curly fries and it costs one pound ten P per plate. So yeah, it's definitely going in uh, budget. And it's good at reviews because they technically tell you there was fish weight in the fish fingers. But I'm going to get in there now, sit down, put my feet up, get me fucking onesie on because I'm eating a big kid's tea. And uh, I'm going to enjoy it because uh, I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share on all your social media and subscribe. And become a family member of hashtag 2CTB. Where I fucking love you.